of all the careers out there that you could pick, there's always one that stands above the rest. It is a new year, but some things never change, and that is that optometry should be one of the top careers on your list, and here are four compelling and tantalizing reasons why. What's up YouTube, it's Josh Reese making optometry easy, and let's get into it with the number one reason why you should consider optometry, and that is that it is a high career satisfaction with even a higher retirement age. And what do I mean by that? If you've ever shadowed an optometrist or even talked to an optometrist, you should know that they are some of the happiest people on the planet and they retire late, meaning that it's not some grueling gross job where you work until you're 60 and then you finally just retire. It's usually a job that people want to do and continue doing even part-time up until they can't anymore, which in optometry you can do for a long time because it doesn't require too much of you. You can just go and do what you love. And part of those high satisfaction is the pay. It averages about $131,000 a year, which is really good. But if you own your own practice or have some ownership in a practice as an optometrist, that number is closer to $200,000. And I've personally known some optometrists that can get into the stratosphere with those numbers. So it is a well-paying job in the healthcare profession that has a high satisfaction and low burnout rate. And I'll mention in this section too, that it is a lot shorter to become an optometrist than your typical medical doctor. It is just four years of school after college with an optional residency. Reason number two is that it's healthcare, but with benefits. When I was young, I always wanted to do something with healthcare because I knew I wanted to help people. But when I got closer to the pre-med route, I realized that healthcare was not for me because I thought, oh, I don't like working with blood. And I finally found in optometry, a healthcare field that can give you all of the good parts about healthcare, the helping people, the pay, the fulfillment, all in one career without compromise. So what do I mean healthcare with benefits? That is that you can be a healthcare provider without dealing with blood, without dealing with guts. And optometry school is cheaper than most of your dental and medical schools out there. So you don't have to go into that much debt to be an optometrist. And for all of you people who love the numbers, want to be an accountant or an engineer, it is one of the medical professions that you use math and calculations every single day with optics. Now, for those of you who hate it, don't worry. It's the kind of math that isn't super grueling to do and makes you feel super smart and rewarding being able to do it. And that crazy doctor 1 a.m. mentality that people have out there doesn't exist in optometry. What if you wanted the healthcare for the clout? What if you wanted healthcare for, you know, being able to be a surgeon and have that kind of mentality? Well, optometry, because it is a legislative profession, is beginning to do more and more surgical procedures. So there are some laser surgeries that optometrists are licensed to do now, and in the future, there will be more for you clout seekers. Now, the third reason why you should become an optometrist is that you can do basically whatever you want to do. The scope of practice is so large and still expanding. Now, I'll mention a few, and this is a big list, but it's not a comprehensive list. Optometry is what they call a legislative profession, that it's only held back by the laws that are in place. And so a law could come out next year saying an optometrist can treat this new disease and it'll go on expanding and expanding. Now optometrists can do primary care in just a normal private practice where you're just treating people for glasses and contacts and other eye problems. You can also do pre and post operations. So you can work side by side with an ophthalmologist who's doing all these surgeries. Optometrists are also needed in the hospital. So you'll know a lot of VAs or veterans hospitals have a lot of optometrists that treat a lot of these diseases that come when you're older. Optometrists also deal with the rehab side of things. So whether or not you are going blind or have some concussion or something affecting your vision, optometrists are trained in techniques to help you use the vision that you do have 
and rehab that vision to make it better. There's also a subspecialty of that called vision therapy that also works with children with some vision-related learning disabilities to help them use the eye muscles and brain connections to the eye. Optometrists also work with prosthetics for people who have lost their eye. In research for new products coming out, you can go into academia or just basically be a professor at an optometry school or help out in an optometry school clinic and so much more. Bottom line is, there's so much that you can do as an optometrist. Now, last but not least, optometry is universally needed. How many people do you know that don't have eyes? Not very many. Almost every single person out there has two eyes that they need to take care of and you are there to take care of them. Every single person needs an eye doctor and 90% of the people out there who don't think that they need glasses actually need glasses. And 100% of the people out there, once they hit 50, are going to need glasses. So every single person in this whole world needs glasses at some point in this life and people aren't going to the optometrist as much as they should. You are there to be the universally needed doctor that is an optometrist. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in optometry, go ahead and smash the like button and comment down below what got you interested in optometry. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one.